Hello everyone. This is Epic IQ and in this video, we will try to visualize the quadratic formula. As you know, the quadratic formula is the solution of the quadratic equation. The general quadratic equation is a x squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. Now, let us visualize this. We have the unknown x, so x squared will be a square with side x. And we have a number of these squares. x will be represented by a rectangle with sides x and 1. And we have b number of these rectangles. c is represented by a rectangle with sides c and 1. Now, we divide it into a parts. So, each of these parts will be the quadratic equation x squared plus b by a x plus c by a equal to zero. This visual method is called completing the square, where we basically turn this equation into two squares of equal area. On the left hand side, we have a square with side x and a rectangle with sides x and b by a. We put c by a to the right hand side and it will be a square with area minus c by a. We don't really have to worry about the shape on the right hand side as all the coefficients a, b, and c are known. We are interested in making a square with side x as it is x which is unknown and needs to be found out. Now, we use a clever trick. We split the rectangle with sides, x and b over a, into two equal parts. Each of these rectangles will now have sides, x and b over 2a. We now move these rectangles and add to the x square by matching the side x with side x. We now have almost a square, but it's not complete. We need to add that little piece on the top right, to complete the square. Now, you would notice that, this missing square has sides, equal to, b over 2a. So, we add squares with sides, b over 2a, both to the left hand side, and the right hand side. The area of these squares will be, b square, divided by, 4a squared. We add theses terms on both sides of the equation. We can simplify the area on the right hand side as b square minus 4ac divided by 4a square. The area on the left hand side now, after completing the square, will be the square of its sides, which is now x plus b over 2a. So, x plus b over 2a will be plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. By moving b over 2a to the other side, we get the all familiar quadratic formula, which is minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Hope you enjoyed this visual approach to solving math problems. A visual understanding can make even a complex problem look easy. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this math video and want us to make more such videos. Thank you for your time and have a good day. Thanks for watching.